Hi, everyone. Today's upgrade is a BMW 6 Series. This is the content of its product packaging. This is the disassembly tool. Everyone according to the need to prepare. First, we use tools to remove the air outlet panel of the original car. Then we unplug everything behind the panel. Remove bottom plastic panel. Now let's loosen the four screws that hold the key panel of the original car. Remove bottom plastic panel. Then remove the original screen and unplug all the back. Remove the key panel from the original car and remove all plugs from the back. Okay, now we remove the four screws that hold the main engine of the original car. Here we unplug the main engine. The original optical fiber cable has to be removed. We continue to loosen the screws holding the base of the original car screen. Okay, now install the metal bracket of the new product on it. Attach the matching metal clasp to the base of the new product. Now connect the power card of the new product to the plug of the original car. The fiber optic cable is also connected to the power source. Then connect it to the host. Run the white plug end of the power card through here to the top. Then attach the base and fasten it with screws. Now we plug the white power source into the back of the screen. Then connect the LVDS wire, connect GPS antenna, connect the quad G antenna, connect a USB cable. Then we'll clean up the wire and we'll install the screen. Okay, we will reinstall the main engine of the original car and fix it with screws. Reinsert all plugs on the back of the key panel and reinstall it to secure it. Then we reinstall the bottom plastic block. We reinsert all the plugs on the back of the air outlet panel and then install it. The effect after installation. This car radio is to retain the original car dual system. We first set the original car interface size resolution, otherwise the picture will be deformed. Now the car radio has no sound. We need to enter the original car system to set up AUX. Support is turn imaging and detection radar. Support DSP to adjust sound quality. Support map navigation function. Support dashboard functions. Support CarPlay, Android Auto. You can use voice assistant to control the car. You can take a phone, listen to music, map navigation and so on. Support video playback. The latest Android system, large memory, a variety of UE things switch and so on. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.